I've been uh, asked to tell the story about my French horn. Uh, we were in very severe financial uh, circumstance in our family, and as a matter of fact, we are in something called home rule, our home, f home food. Uh, we got commodities instead of money. And I just had a passion to get an education, to get out of the poverty. And I saw an ad in the little local newspaper that this fancy school was offering a scholarship uh, pre, pre, uh, a pre-college uh, uh, scholarship for someone who could play the French horn. So I immediately went downtown to a place where it said, just bring an honest face. <laughs> and I, I said, I'd like a French horn. So I brought it out and uh, he said, uh, it'll be uh, $70 and uh, you can pay it off a dollar every week. Uh, so I said, well, I'll take it. So uh, when he uh, gave it to me, he said, uh, I, uh, he gave me the bill and he said, uh, uh, it, it said $75 instead of 70 he, he said, I said, what's the $5 for? He said, it's carrying charge. I said, no, I'll carry it myself. So, so I got it and I didn't, I hardly knew how to open the case and so on. But there were several other very poverty stricken kids who had musical instruments. So we all got together and we, jo we, joined, we joined both the band and the orchestra. And I had the worst trouble of all trying to tune it in and try to play it and with no instructions and nothing. So what happened is I was in the marching band and in the orchestra at the same time. And so we had the final, as we were getting ready to graduate, we had this final musical thing and the, and the, uh, the, the band director knew I couldn't play, so he said, Bernie, whatever you do, don't toot on that thing tonight. <laughs> we need to have a good showing. So that's the story uh, of how I, uh, how I, and it's significant that no one has ever asked me a single time to play the French horn. So.